guys welcome back to this episode and in this episode I'm going to show you three photo texturing techniques that I normally use when I'm uh, trying to get some textures into my scenes and these are going to be really quick ones so the first one I have this image here and I want to apply some sort of brick uh, texture to this image so as you can see the values here don't match with the picture and my image so that will be the first thing that I want to try to um, get fixed. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my levels and play with the sliders here and kind of try to get something as close as possible. And of course I got to match a little bit more color here. And I'm looking here at my image on the bottom in comparison to this and I want to try to get it as close as possible. Here. I think that's pretty good there. We're going to keep uh, editing that in a little bit, but uh, I just want to have something as close as possible. So now I'm going to put a mask on it here, and then I'm going to paint black my mask so I kind of don't see the texture image. And now with a texture brush, I'm going to paint with white on the mask just to kind of reveal the texture that I'm trying to apply here. Now, as you can see, the uh, angle and the perspective is not accurate but that's something that we can fix later. I just want to get kind of like a general idea. Now if I were to edit this to change the perspective you're gonna see that the image mask kind of goes with it. So the way to do that is if I unlink the texture the image with the mask here and I just click that layer now I can move my image and the mask stays intact. So I'm just gonna scroll that down Kind of try to play around with the perspective here. Maybe warp it just to make it a little bit more rounded, like so. And um, it looks still like it's not matching, so the value. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit more. Maybe darken it a little bit. And there you have it. Now that's one. The second one will be just to grab. A, a picture and this one is a little bit more tricky because it has to match pretty more uh, like more exact to what you want to do most of the time so here I have this image I want to kind of have this rounded detail around the window I'm just gonna place it somewhere closer and uh, the other thing will be just using your blending modes now your blending modes usually most of the times uh, the ones that work the better are overlay, softly, and multiply. And overlay works pretty well on this one. And I think it's a little bit too dark. So I'm actually gonna uh, duplicate that just to have a backup. And on this one, I'm gonna play with my levels to kinda make it a little bit brighter. I'm just concentrating on, on where the details that I want are. I'm not concentrating about anything else because I can just erase that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a mask. Apply a mask, paint it black. And now I'm gonna paint in wherever I want the details to appear. Like so. I like to use a texture brush because it kinda still gives me some texture to it. And there you go. And then I can do the same thing with the other ones. I'm gonna do perspective and so on. Now the, the colors here are a little bit off, so I'll have to like play a little bit with my color balance here, color balance and try to match that, somewhere like that. And uh, there you go. Now that's the second one. The third one will be, let's say I want to also add a texture brick to my walls here. Now instead of doing the levels like I did this one, I'm actually going to double click and go to my blending properties. So for the noise, that's my, uh, one of my dogs. And I'm going to go here. Now what I want from this image is the actual grid, the dark parts of this image. I don't want the bright side of the brick. So I'm going to eliminate the whites or the brighter values with this light over here. I'm just going to slide that in just until I get something that I'm Pretty comfortable with 
And if you don't like the hard edges on this, you can alt, click and drag on that, and then you get a subtle gradient to it. Until you get something that you like. Now here, I think we can darken that, it, that um, those lines a little bit more, but the way to do that is I'm just gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna merge that with the previous one. And now I can go ahead and put my levels and darken that a little bit. And now I can put my perspective and the lines. I would do the exact same thing. I will apply a mask to it and then erase what I don't need. Kind of bringing what I want. Let's, let's play a little bit more with the perspective here. Let's do a warp. And go around this rounded tech, um, structure. And this texture is a little bit more subtle, but uh, with these three techniques, you can kind of combine them as you go. That way, you have a little bit more variation in how you apply this um, these photo textures. All right. Well, I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you guys later.